how do people get touring opportunities? The best advice I've probably ever been given, it relates to everything in life. You need to have control over your- Yo, what's good, y'all? It's Ketch and Yannicka, and in today's video, I'm just relaxing, man. I'm out here in Philly. Just finished a whole jam-packed weekend of shows. First things first, if you need to my channel, my name's Ketch and Yannicka. I'm an alto saxophonist, multi-instrumentalist, and performing artist from Upper Darby, Pennsylvania. And my goal on this channel is to become a world-renowned music legend. So I post vlogs, performances, song covers, you name it. So if that interests you, please make sure you subscribe to my channel. So man, right now I'm just thinking about what's next, you know? As artists, producers, creatives, the one thing that we always fear, the biggest question we fear is what's next. The reason why that question is so scary is because you may have a body of work that you spent hours, days, months, years working on. And with today's climate, you put it out, people binge it, and then they say, yo, that was really cool, I really enjoyed that, what's next? And it's kind of hard because it's like, it takes a lot of effort just to pull one thing out, you know? So I'm kind of in a space where I want to present current ideas for how I feel and where I'm at right now with my music, life, everything. And I want everyone to hear what I hear, understand my thought process, and see things from my lens. So, I don't know, I'm just thinking about what's next, you know? Philly's looking good today. Not gonna lie. It looks like they're finally putting the finishing touches on this beer garden. Looks pretty nice. So I have one of my favorite performances in a long time. You know, this was actually really enjoyable, a lot of fun. It was at Time Restaurant in Philly. I'm gonna vlog. The vlog is either up right now or it will be up after this. I don't know. Depends on how much work I got. But it was really fun, you know? I think one of the biggest challenges that I overcame was just when you have an audience that isn't accustomed to jazz, doesn't know the theory behind it, how vulnerable can you really be without losing people? And my thing was, I was afraid that if I was completely vulnerable with how I see music and how I feel, I thought I was gonna lose the audience. But once I let go, I actually captivated them a lot more and that kind of shocked me. So now I know I could push different dimensions within the music. So I think that's pretty cool. It's been a while since I've been here. Wonder what's about to happen here. The weather just feels perfect. Not even gonna hold you. It's like 70s, mid 70s, something like that. You know, it's kind of interesting. As I walk through this park, it kind of brings me back to the good old days, you know, 2018 vibes. Just when I first started vlogging out here in the city. You know, in 2018, if you guys have been watching my YouTube channel, that's really, I mean, technically 2017 is when my channel really started blowing up, but like 2018 is really what did it for me. You know, when I started doing the Philly vlogs, Philly performances, start, started, you know, just checking out the scene, establishing a name out here in the city. And it's kind of crazy, you know, I grew up in Upper Darby, so I wasn't 100% immersed in the city life here, but I had always dreamed to come here. And it's like, now that I'm here, I do feel like I established a name. I do feel like I set out to do a lot of what I said I wanted to do. I still want to get those really, really big venues, you know, like the TLA, Fillmore maybe, copyright music. I still want to get those kind of venues. I still want to, I don't know. I still want to do tours, but like on a larger scale. Though. But yeah, I mean, I'm just looking back and reflecting and just trying to see like, did I set out to do everything I wanted to do, at least in this specific city? And um, I'd say mostly yes, some no, but I think it's definitely a blessing just to be able to be out here and meet the people that I did. You know, I kind of, sometimes I forget about how much groundwork I actually put into this city. So to see a lot of the fruits of my labor actually come through, it's, it's incredible, man. So I say that to say, if you guys are going into a new city, 
unfamiliar with you know it's unfamiliar territory don't be discouraged just make it what you want it to be and eventually things will align i've got to show you guys this shot look at all this man so this is one of the best looking parks in the city just the green at this time of the day it looks so good so for all my diehard supporters if you're on my YouTube channel, subscribe to my YouTube channel, you watch my videos, you are considered a die-hard Catchy Squad member. So, I'm going to give you guys a tea on what's next. I'm currently developing a new project. Let's just say, we'll call it a single just for lack of better words. It's going to be a new project. It's going to sound completely different than the previous ones. Self-produced by me. So, it's something I've been working on for a while. And... I cannot wait to share that with you guys. It's coming real soon. Follow me on Spotify. It's going down there. Yo, guys. We got some more festivals happening in the area. If you're in Philly, June is the best time to be in Philly. We got the Roots Picnic. We got... What else we got? Shoot. <laughs> I started off so strong. But um, we got the Roots Picnic. We got a lot of other events here happening first week of June, so definitely come through. It's going to be crazy, man. June gets really crazy. Alright, guys, so I'll be performing here on Wednesday, June 14th. Chris's, man, it's going to go down. The reason why I like Chris's is because it's the first show I had, you know, under my own name in Philly. Back in 2000 and I want to say it was 17? Nah, 2019. That's when I had my first show, you know, at Chris's. And we packed that place. That show was amazing. That was before the live streaming, before all the bells and whistles and all that. And, you know, I will never forget I had my bacon. I think I had a bacon cheeseburger and fries. I can't remember. But it was a lit day. Still on YouTube. City vibes. Feel me? thing I've been thinking about just you know being out and I don't know just seeing more of what life has to offer is this quote that I made it's probably not gonna be a quote but what I figured is you can't really how do I put this you need to have control over yourself your emotions your reactions to everything how you choose to react to certain things you want to become a valuable asset to others. That's a mouthful, but hey, someone, I don't know, maybe I'll make it condensed or whatever, but you need to be able to control the way you react to situations if you want to be a better asset to others. The reason why I say that is because, oh yeah, Pete Thom, all that, Nickelodeon drift. But yeah, the reason why I say that is back in 2016 at, uh, I think it's College Park, I met Victor Wooten at a show with Bella Fleck on um, Penn State Main Campus. So it was an amazing show, you know, really cool show. And one thing he said when I asked him, you know, how do people get touring opportunities? What he told me is you need to be able to hang both on and off the stage. What that means is you have to have good character both on and off the stage because a lot of these cats are going to be you're going to be staying with them for like months, if not years at a time. And you're going to be cramped up in the tour, tour van. If you can't control your actions, control how you react to certain situations, if you don't have these common decency and you know, respect for others, bruh. Basically what he was telling me is it's not all about skill set. You can be the best musician in the world, but you still might not get the gig if you don't have yourself to check. To me, that's the best advice I've probably ever been given, especially just in music, because it relates to everything in life. You know, we have, and some people say we have our own demons, we have our own personal battles that we fight every day. Sometimes we struggle to make a day a good day, and based off of how we feel, sometimes our emotions change how we interact with others, how we speak to others, how we, you know, all that. So you have yourself in check you might have your guidelines whatever you need to keep yourself in check when you have that down 
you have more control over yourself. You have more control over your life. You have more control um, over how you react to negative situations. And you'll be able to become a positive asset in other people's lives, other people's projects. Regardless of if it's music, it can go into anything. So take that advice with you. Hopefully it helps you out with something that you're battling, you're facing in your life. Know, share it with others. Make sure you guys go check out my show at Chris's Jazz Cafe. I'm leaving the link down below inside the description, inside the comment section if I remember. Let me know if I forget. I'm fitting to go ham. We got an amazing band that night, so it's gonna be lit. Make sure to like, comment, share, and if you're new to the channel, subscribe. Follow me on social media. Links are down below inside the description. Check out my EP. Follow me on Spotify as well. And lastly, make sure to turn on the post notification bell icon next to the subscribe button so you never miss a video. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys soon. Peace.